Power tools use many ball bearings to allow various components to rotate. Over time, a ball bearing will wear and begin to fail. A bearing that is failing will usually give warning, often with a squeaking or a squealing sound. Replacing a ball bearing is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll begin by removing the top cover from the sander. Now we'll remove the brush holders from the housing. Now I'll tip the sander onto its side and remove the sanding pad. And now remove the brake. And now remove the lower shroud. Now remove the screw that secures the bearing box and the eccentric fan. And now I can remove the lower bearing carrier. I'll remove the lower bearing from the bearing carrier. I'll strike the shaft with a rubber mallet. You don't want to use a steel hammer here as it will damage the shaft. Now I can remove the lower bearing from the armature. I'll use a bearing separator and a vise to do that. I'll place the separator over the bearing and around the armature shaft. Then I'll place the separator over the jaws on my vise. And again, I'll use a rubber mallet to tap the armature away from the bearing. Using a metal hammer will flare this metal over, ruining the shaft. Now I can install the new bearing. First I'll place the washer back over the armature shaft. You'll notice that one side of the washer has a raised portion and that should be towards the bearing. I'll place the bearing over the armature shaft and I'll use a socket to install it. The socket has a diameter that's the same as the inner race on the bearing. I'll use the socket to tap the bearing in place. Now I'll reinstall the lower bearing carrier onto the armature bearing. I place the carrier on top of the vise jaws and the armature bearing onto the carrier. And I'll tap it in place with a rubber mallet. Now I can reinstall the armature assembly back into the field. And I'll secure the lower bearing carrier with the screws. And now I'll reinstall the eccentric fan. Next, I'll reinstall the shroud. Now I'll reinstall the bearing box. The thin washer 
goes behind the bearing box onto the eccentric shaft and now install the bearing box itself. As I install this, I want to make sure that the screw holes for the pad are facing outward. Next, I'll reinstall the brake. And I'll secure the bearing box and fan with the washer and screw. Now I can reinstall the pad. First I'll place the pad flange over the bearing box. The side with the raised flange should be pointed out. I'll line the pad with the screw holes and secure it with the screws. Next, I'll reinstall the brush holders. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the top cover. And that's all it takes to install a new ball bearing on your power tool.